Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Dynamic Trunking Protocol Mode. When the switch port is in access mode, that port can only transfer packets on one single specific VLAN. When the switch port is in trunking mode, that port can transfer packets from numerous VLANs or even all VLANs. Ports can become trunking ports either by static configuration or dynamic negotiation using the dynamic trunking protocol. A switch port can be used in one of five dynamic trunking protocol modes. The access mode and trunking mode are static modes in that it does not matter what mode the connected switch is in, it will still stay in access or trunking depending on which it is. The dynamic desirable actively negotiate trunking with the other side of the link. It becomes a trunk if the port on the other switch is set to trunking, dynamic desirable, dynamic auto mode. Dynamic Auto passively waits to be contacted by the other switch. It becomes a trunk if the other end of the switch is a trunk or dynamic desirable mode. I do not consider non-negotiate to truly be a real mode like these others. It is only used when the interface is in the access mode or trunking mode, it simply does not send dynamic trunking protocols to the other switch to negotiate whether it should be in access mode or trunking mode. Now let's look at the commands that we would type into the switch to control if it's an access or trunk interface. We have four main commands. They are switch port mode access, switch port mode trunk, switch port more dynamic auto, and switch port mode dynamic desirable. The last two are used when negotiating with a switch that it is attached to. Both switch port mode access and switch port mode trunk are when you know which mode you want the interface to be in. Switch port mode access is for when you have in devices such as computers and printers. And switch port mode trunk is for when you have to connect the switch to other switches or routers. If you choose the first two, you can decide if you wanted to negotiate with the other side or not negotiate. When I'm setting up a switch port interface being access mode, I normally would use the switch port mode access command with the switch port no negotiate command. And when I want it to be in trunking mode, I'll use the switch port mode trunk with the switch port no negotiate command. Though it's a bit more simpler to just simply type in switch port mode access or switch port mode trunk by itself. Normally I would use the access port starting with the beginning port to near the end port and I would set up my trunks at the very end being the last two or the last four interfaces. Now let's look at the, all the possible combinations that dynamic trunking protocol can use between two switches. Horizontally we have switch 1 and vertically we have switch 2. Viewing this will allow you to get a better idea of what will happen to an interface between two switches using the various modes. 
we have looked at the different dynamic trunking protocol modes and have demonstrated when to use each mode. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.